Welcome back to part two of our DNA and RNA series. Today, we are going to be doing copying of DNA, which, as I said at the end of our first video, happens during cell division, before we enter mitosis. We have to copy the DNA so that each cell can have a copy of the instructions of how to run itself, which is what DNA is. It would be the same as if I gave you a car and told you to build it and didn't tell you how to put it together. You need those instructions to put it together. Or if I gave you a building and told you, here's what I want it to look like, but didn't tell you how to build it. You didn't have blueprints or anything. DNA are those blueprints, are those instructions. So each cell in your body, if you want it to go about living, you need to have those instructions. So during cell division, before we enter into the dividing of the cell that we call mitosis, we have to copy those instructions. We call that DNA replication because we are replicating or copying that DNA. So we're going, we are going to start with one copy of our DNA, which is what each of your cells has, a single copy of that DNA. And as we said before, it is a double helix shaped, so it is a twisted ladder. But we are then going to unzip it, kind of like a zipper. You have an enzyme that goes along and unzips it and separates the two separate parts of that DNA. When they have separated it, you can see the different letters that are contained. And as we mentioned in the last video, they have specific ways that they have to match up. We have four letters, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. A always matches with T. C always matches with G. So they are always across from each other in that way. A is always across from T, and C is always across from G. Even if they are on opposite sides and G is on the bottom, C will be on the top. If T is on the bottom, A will be on the top. So when you unzip it, they are across from each other. How to copy it is, you have an enzyme called DNA polymerase, which comes along, and I will just put the name out here, DNA polymerase, and it comes along, recognizes this is T. We need to find an A and build an A here. So it will replace that A and attach it to the T. It will then move on to the next letter. See that it's a G. And it will place a C. And it will go along to each and every, wow, that was a terrible C. Each and every letter along the way And it will copy that DNA. It will do the same thing to the bottom here. But that is the wrong letter. Which, sometimes, it does put the wrong letter. Which is okay. We will talk about that in a later video of what happens if your DNA makes a mistake. So it matches those letters up. And then it will come along and it will start building a backbone for each of these. A 
as you go along. It will build you a backbone for each of those DNA as well. So when it is done and zips it back up, you started with one, but you have now unzipped it, matched each of the letters up, and zipped it back up, you now end up with two copies of DNA. And you'll notice if you look at them, they are exact copies. The A, it goes A, C, G, C, T, A, C, C, A, T, G, G, C, A. And if you go from the top, both letters on the top strings will match up as well. Because when you replicate your DNA, you make an exact copy. Now, DNA replication is called semi-conservative. Because if you look at the DNA, half of your DNA, the ones with the blue letters, half of that DNA, which you could follow all the way here, and you would see it on the inside of this strand, as well as the inside of this strand. Half of that DNA came from the original DNA. So it is called semi-conservative because from the original DNA, half of it is conserved in each molecule. Half of it is old molecule. Half of it is built, which is shown here with the red letters. Half of it is brand new in each DNA molecule. Yeah, you're on the wrong side, but... That's fine. There we go. We want to keep our DNA nucleotides on the inside, otherwise your DNA would not work. So half of it is old, which is shown here in the blue. Half of it is new, which is shown here in the red. That's why it is called semi-conservative. It saves half of this old blue molecule and makes it into a copy of that. And that is how your DNA is able to copy itself. With this, we are done with what we are going to talk about DNA. From here, we move on to a molecule called RNA, which is how you are able to make your proteins in your body and how you're able to send messages. So, starting with the next video, we will discuss the structure of RNA and how it is the same and how it is different from DNA.